It's your boy DJ Academics and now Lil Dirk, the five-star war general out of Chirac. He returned home off deployment from our drilling the ops, catching the insurgents lacking, and of course collecting them bands. Now, he returned home only to be seemingly disrespected by his baby moms, the notorious OTF Nikki. Now, OTF Nikki, if you guys don't know, she is the uh, Majin Buu of Chirac. Chirac's very own fucking Majin Buu. The fat Majin Buu at that. Now, she's the one that basically turns the ops into packs of fucking candy and uh, digest them. Now, listen, man, because to me, she looks like a rider. I actually rock with her, you know what I mean? While people criticize her looks, I mean, you're in fucking Chirac. You don't need to be no beauty queen, no fucking trap queen. You don't need no bad bitches, no fucking pr pr pretty petite red bone. Nigga, you need extra hitters, extra shooters. You need somebody that could actually absorb a couple of bullets in case the ops come busting through the door. Didn't y'all see what happened with Bin Laden? Bin Laden had about eight chicks with him. When the seals came knocking or came kicking down the door, he put all of them chicks in front of him. They could absorb at least a couple bullets. OTF nigga could hold at least ten. Come on now. Anyway. So she puts this up on Instagram, right? She says, listen, I've been hurt, I've been betrayed, lied to, but I will never stop being who I am. And I'm thinking, well, a goddamn savage. And, or she says, uh, a good woman. Now, she says, never allow what someone does to you to change who you are. Now, Lil Dirk checked that ass immediately. God damn it, you could tell he's not on that Tiger Simpson shit. He said, listen, man, you fucking, you a fucking lame. Now, he continued his slander of her, and he said, listen, bitch want fame, so she tried her best to make a nigga look bad. Then he said, of course, don't be with that drama shit 100. Well, listen here, little Dirk, you know what I mean? Because that's your baby moms, okay? That's the, she's a writer, you know what I mean? And unlike other chicks you're probably going to find, they're just trying to get a financial come up. And in the interest of not seeing you become a pack, a, a fucking candy bars, a fucking Snickers or Twix or even maybe Jolly Rancher. Listen, my nigga, you better cut that drama shit because I don't think you want no drama with the Chirac Majin Buu, okay? Listen, sad to say, she might give you that work, dog. She's about four times your weight. I used to have a chick like that on my squad. Listen, I wasn't donkey fucking her. I knew better than that. However, I dangled the penis in front of her like it was a fucking sausage. Now, she it's like she was running on the fucking treadmill trying to get it. She would never get it, but she felt like she was close. Now, long story short, I remember there was some other fucking badly built Buick looking thought he disrespected me. And now if it was back in Jamaica when that demonic looks get on my face, I see red. You know what I mean? Maybe she get a 300 combination. Maybe she be apologizing 20 minutes. But now, listen, nigga can't be looking like no fucking Jay-Z out here in these streets. So what I did was I told this other shorty, the one that I told you I was dangling the penis in front of like a fucking sausage. Man, she beat that chick so bad. Listen. I felt bad about it because I actually was on some Drake shit. I ain't gonna lie. I was on some, the, the beating was so bad, I was on some Drake shit. Like, this is wrong. I, I ran in. I'm like, listen, we don't got to do this. We can talk about it. We could, this is why she's going ham on her. I'm like, stop. Stop. No, no, hold on. We're going home. Stop. But anyway, so listen, Lil Dirk, it's in the game, man. You think you're going to have a cycle that exists because I get it. You're saying she's making you look bad and she's doing it for fame. Check this out because it's always going to happen where these people are trying to come up off fame. You can't tell me that, yo, you're so mad at her for trying to either exploit or she's getting some type of fame for her association with you. She's your baby moms. Listen, you have men, grown men, within Chirac who are on Twitter posting up guns, threatening to kill each other just for fame. Are you then expecting to tell me that the women that are involved in this whole thing won't do anything for fame? Really? And you're telling me if they do, is that bad? I mean, one of your guys, he posted up a fucking rocket launcher just to get his fucking cloud up, right? That was a move for fame, right? So this whole thing about, oh, you're doing this for fame, come on now. Don't be a hypocrite. Some of the guys that you are cool with, they have done crazy shit for fame too. Come on. So these women, they're involved in this cycle. And listen, that's, that's directly connected to you. That's your baby moms. Now, the best thing you need to be doing is you need to hit these chicks with a fucking Sosa Da Vinci line. You need to tell them, listen, man, I ain't with that drama. You will meet my llama. You need to tell them some real G shit like that. But listen, all in all, man, yo, I think this chick is a rider. While you might not be with her, might, while you might not be in a relationship with her, I think she's somebody that you should keep a good relationship with. Now, I don't know what it goes into raising a child with her. 
But hey, clean that up. That shit should not be public. Now, if she is bringing everything public initially without even trying to work shit out privately, that's a problem. That's somebody who's fucked up in the head mentally already. But hey, if shit just ain't working and you're ignoring her, she's going to bring it publicly because you're going to look bad. So yeah, man, get your household in order. Don't be looking like Tiger Simpson out here because that's not a good look. You know what I mean? You remember you had that nigga in the beaches of Dubai with his chicken chest out and he was hiding. Okay, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Okay, little dirt, get that shit in order. Okay, it's your boy DJ Academics. In the comment box, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys actually like OTF Nikki? I see her. I see her as a rider, man. Listen, I'm in the Chirac. I'm not looking for no beauty contest. I'm looking for the chicks that could absorb the most amount of bullets. The chick that could actually bust back. The actual real savage that we go to fucking Olive Garden. She's not lacking. Okay? So what do you guys think? In the comment box, make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe, man. I'm out.